How are you doing with the uh how are you doing with everything with the the quarantine and everything? Oh, I'm good. It's getting kind of boring here. Like after two months, you come back from Florida and you're stuck in your house, can't do anything. Yeah, you know, I mean, fortunately, fortunately for me, I work, so I, uh, you know, not as much as I want to, but uh, you know, at least I can. I, I, I am working and uh, trying to get out of the house and you know, try to run, go for runs and working out in the basement. So trying to kill time until at least things go semi back to normal. So. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, I've been trying to work out and all that stuff, going for the little drives around. Right on. Are you, uh, do you like try to stay active, like just with the stick or like? Yeah, yeah, I do a lot of stick handling in my basement and just got some rollerblades as well, so. Oh, right on. Yeah. Oh, that's nice. Um, yeah, so I guess I'll just start off here, um, kind of just reflecting on the, the past season with the Maroons and uh, with the A1 or A21 Academy, if I'm correct. Yeah. Yeah. That's okay. Right. Um, so I guess with, with you kind of joining the team, um, how do you like feel joining the team kind of later towards the end of the season? Um, like I was a shy guy at first. Like I've always been a shy guy around new people, but like a few of the older players took me under their wing and a few guys I know on the, on the team already, they introduced me to everyone. So like it was pretty warm welcoming. Okay. But just learning plays and all that, not knowing plays, it's gets kind of hard. You have to learn real quick. Okay. Us. Right on. Yeah, I mean, that's just part of being a team. You know, you just make sure that, uh, you know, you try to build a little bit of that, uh, that chemistry and, and uh, you know, try to welcome guys to the team. And it always helps, right? <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, so you're from Windsor, Ontario, correct? Yeah. Okay. Um, and you came from the A1 or A20, I keep saying A1, A21, <laughs> A21 Academy. So um, for anybody that doesn't really know, and I don't, um, what is that exactly? Um, well, so it's kind of like a school and there's like a, there's a hockey team, like a prep team. So there's kids all over the con or like all over the world from like Czech Republic, Australia, uh, Austria, and they come and, like we play different teams in the states, different prep teams in Canada, like Toronto, so like St Andrews, and yeah, basically focused on getting to the next level. So is it like is it kind of like a gateway for to like get you into higher um, higher leagues, or how does it how does it work? Uh, it yeah, it can be. It just depends on how well you use your practice time. Obviously, right. like if you put in the work, you can go anywhere you want. So you're on the ice every day, lots of opportunity and like three games a weekend. So it's just crazy. Oh, okay. Um, now, uh, because you're from Windsor, did you have to just drive every day? Kind of like how the Fisher brothers did it from London or yeah. did you, oh, okay. So you didn't have yeah. to stay with the Billet family then. Mm -hmm. uh, I drove with Dallas Anderson every practice and almost every game. But like sitting in the car with a suit on for 50 minutes gets a little hot. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, especially in the winter, right? I mean, you get the heat just blasting. Yeah. So, you know, like that, yeah, I couldn't imagine. I, uh, I'm like, for me, like I'm, I hate, I just hate wearing coats in the car. It's always been like, yeah. just, I hate doing it. I, so imagine just having a suit. I couldn't do it, but you know, gotta do what you gotta do. Right. So. Of course. No, is the whole thing about the suit. I know that, uh, you know, like, because obviously I follow hockey, I follow like NHL and all the other, you know, other uh, leagues. Um, so what's the idea about the whole suit thing? Is that just, is that just like any other sport? You just have to dress nice if you're not playing or if you are playing? I think it's a more uh, look good, feel good, play good kind of deal. Like, oh, okay. You dress nice, you feel confident walking in, everyone's looking at you and just kind of like a self-esteem boost going into the game gets you more prepared get your mindset on the game puts you in that mentality of getting like ready for war you know oh okay um you know with with traveling back and forth was like having to stay with the billet family was that like offered to you or did you already know like no i can just i can travel back and forth no yeah i just i just stayed here i I think I like. I'm pretty sure I knew that I could go with a billet, but I'm like, no, it's fine. Just stay here with my family. 
Okay. And I mean, considering, you know, it's not like you were doing this a whole, like you weren't with the Maroons the entire full season, right? Yeah, exactly. Right. Um, yeah. So I guess we kind of, uh, kind of been reflecting on this, this season. Um, I guess with, uh, <laughs> I asked, um, uh, I'm just having a brain fart here. Uh, uh, I, I, I asked uh, Wally yesterday, so I asked him about like the whole thing about losing game seven. And I guess I'll kind of ask you the same thing. Was it, was it bittersweet that you lost game seven, but the fact that if you moved on, then, you know, hockey was going to be canceled anyway. Yeah. I was, I was thinking about that. Obviously it'd be nice to win game seven, right. game four, whatever, because like just, they're the rivals, you know, mm-hmm. and obviously if we finished them off, we could have just like made a statement, but i um, going like knowing that if we would have won that series and then went to go play London and then it got canceled. Like, I mean, I guess it kind of sucks. Right. <laughs> <laughs> but it's also good knowing that like, there's no, like if you can't win, then you don't want to see another team win. So it's good that you don't get to see another team win, especially your rivals. Yeah, no, and and that I guess that makes sense. Um, you know, with that, um, did that was that like going through anybody's head um, during that time? Like when you're going through the series, uh, was, were there players on the team that were like, "Well, we could win this," but you know, I heard like you know the, this whole thing about the coronavirus is coming. Um, I'm sure it was floating around, but I don't think no one really expressed it like verbally to anyone because you don't really want to think about that type of thing. Right. You just want to focus on like winning that game and then going on to the next and playing London. Okay. So. Right on. Um, yeah. So now I, you know, we kind of discussed a lot about, um, reflecting on last season. Um, and I guess, oh, I, I forgot I have one more for you. So do you have any uh, do you have any favorite moments and not so favorite moments of the season with the Maroons? Um well, my favorite moment probably well, obviously my first goal. And the um, when Dallas scored that clutch goal. Yeah. <laughs> it felt great. Um Honest, like my first practice too, just felt like I was meant to be there, as well. Oh, okay. And you're not so favorite. <laughs> um, losing to LaSalle probably game seven. Yeah, that must have been a stinger, eh? Yeah. Or just like the three games that they came back and won. That. Well, there's there's so much talk about that because. Um, I think, and I was talking about this with uh, Bryce yesterday, how um, I think it was a different subject, but um, we were talking about the rival rivalry with, um, with LaSalle. And I think it was maybe three or four years ago. And they, we had been playing LaSalle and it was like the same thing. It went to game seven, I think. But what happened was I think Chatham had won game one and then LaSalle won like game two, game three, game game four, kind of like how how or yeah, some something like that. Well, they we we were like down the same as how LaSalle was, and same thing. We won every single game back to back, or we won the last two back to back or something. And uh, and it's kind of funny how they it's kind of funny how they how they make it now. It's like it's your turn to to lose and them for for them to move on. So I guess you guys have to kind of, you know, take, take your, uh, take your fall, unfortunately, but yeah. So whatever, whatever happened in, uh, in LaSalle, like a lot of, a lot of people were asking me, cause I obviously I run the, the Instagram and, and I do all the pictures and everything. And people were asking me like, what happened when in LaSalle? I think that was the first, that was the first game that you guys lost after winning a couple of them. Like there was so much stuff that was going on that people were kind of assuming like, I'm not, I'm not too sure. Um, well, about losing like after a few games, they're like hard work because they weren't easy games. Teams right. starts to wear down a bit. 
So I think that's what maybe happened. Was okay. Like started getting yeah. tired, like started getting heavy. Right. Right. Um, yeah. Like that. I'm just kind of asking for the people that are, that were wondering, but uh, um, yeah. So I guess moving on to the next season, um, I guess this is kind of more the bigger question here. So are you planning on returning to the Maroons? Yes, I am planning on going back next year. Okay. And is there any other camps that you're thinking about exploring or you're dead set on the Maroons? Um, if there are camps that go on, cause there may not be, or like if foreign players can't play in the States or if, you know, or if, um, American players can't play here, then yeah, I'll, it's like, I'm definitely going back. But if there is other camps, I think just to go there and get recognition wouldn't be a bad idea. It's just, I'm not sure who knew yet. Okay. Yeah, that, that's fair. Um, but I'm glad to see you come back because we only got to see you for, you know, so much of the season. So now at least you'll have a full season to, to uh, kind of show what you got and to have more time with the Maroons. Yeah. Um, yeah. So I guess now for the next season, what are your expectations of yourself? Um, not a lot, really. Just to be there for the team. Okay. When need it. Um, somebody who gets the puck up right away and executes on plays and executes on like other teams' mistakes and good on the back end, like protecting the goalie. Okay. Making sure they don't don't get past the uh, neutral zone. Right on. Um. And I guess I got got a couple of like fun questions, I guess, for you. Uh, do you, um, I, if I, if I'm wrong, I, I thought I noticed like a New Jersey devil, uh, poster in, in the background there. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so I guess, do you have any idols that you look up to? Uh, well, I'm not really a New Jersey fan. Oh, okay. I just have that like set in my room, but um for idols i think i've always liked drew doughty and okay. i think it was like he was like the first nhl player i met uh like because he played for guelph and my dad played for guelph so at the alumni game we went there and i met him he signed like the uh, game-winning picture when canada won gold and i think that's just like stuck with me and i've tried to like emulate his play and even grab the same number as him the past three years Oh, nice. Yeah. Right on. I think uh, I never met him, um, but I, uh, a guy that I know that I worked out with a couple times at, at the gym I go to, he had told me a story about me. me yeah. <laughs> Sorry. Meeting him in, uh, in Grand Bend. And um, yeah, he met him in Grand Bend. It was actually at some outside bar. And he, like, he knew who he was, but like, you know, when you see people in, in, in person, sometimes they look different than they do on the ice. Yeah. And, uh, and he, he thought he, he heard the guy talking something about, um, about the training. Cause this was about August. So, you know, they were getting close to training again and doing the summer camps and stuff like that. And, uh, and he kind of looked over and he's like, I, I swear to God, I recognize that guy from somewhere. So he, he walked over to him and he's like, I don't mean to bother you, but like, you know, where, where do I know you from? He's like, Oh, I'm Drew. You know, I'm, you know, I played for the LA Kings. He's, oh my God. And he, you know, so guys picture taken with him and everything. Um, but the problem is, and, and I thought he was, I thought he was full of crap for telling me the story, but apparently because he didn't, couldn't get the picture on, on the, on Facebook or social media was because his phone had dropped into the, into the water. So I don't know. <laughs> it's a stitch up, but I don't know. It's, it's hard to say, but, uh, you know, it's still pretty sweet. Um, but, uh, yeah. so just that guy, are you having other idols or anyone that you really like? Um, I like all the new, the new defense that are in the league now. Like, like all the, um, better ones. I don't like honestly look up to them a lot. And for forwards, like Connor McDavid's speed in yeah. his hand, like he's just gross. And Sidney Crosby, been like been around since i've been started playing mm -hmm. so just look up to him a lot too because he's just always been there in my head like yeah right 
Yeah, no, and and I think with uh, hockey, it's it's a it's evolved so much. Um, you know, if you look at um, for, for myself, like at my work um, uh, on the TVs, uh, a lot of times they'll they'll show a lot of the uh, uh, like the the classics, um, and normally it's a lot of like the Leaf games and stuff, and mm-hmm. they'll kind of show like how it was more like just hitting and and fights and and more of that kind of stuff. And now you're seeing it's more like skill-based um, quickness, like like the speed and agility and things like that, that they're more looking for um, in the grit, right? Um, mm-hmm. So I think, yeah, hockey's just changed so much more for sure. Yeah, of course. Um, yeah, so do you have a favorite team? Um, I was born into liking Detroit, but I like Nashville and L.A., Okay. Is there any reason for that? No, I'm not criticizing you <laughs> for the teams, but. Um, well, once, like, I've been to a Nashville game and I've met some of the players as well. And then I've always liked Yossi, his, just like his speed and his, like, um, puck movement and hockey IQ. So that's why I like Nashville. L.A. is because of Doughty, and I've always wanted to go to one of their games. And then okay. Detroit, I was just born into it, like, my – grandparents love Detroit my dad loves Detroit even though like they've had a rough year Honestly. yeah well I mean I don't there was no chance that they were making the playoffs unfortunately my <laughs> my girlfriend she's she's a Detroit fan so I rep on her all the time I'll be like well you can't make the playoffs if they don't play so <laughs> yeah. um yeah I know uh, I know a lot of people from here that are Detroit fans and you know I think if uh if you know the NHL stays on and you know hopefully they'll get that number one draft pick because uh you know they really need it so yeah um yeah so uh, i guess now we're talking about hockey here uh do you play any other sports um i did but i focused main on mainly on hockey so it was only like house league and it was house league soccer and ho- house league lacrosse okay for, uh, i played in Tecumseh for soccer and then i played windsor like warlocks house league but nothing big. It was just to stay in shape. Okay. Yeah. Um, now, obviously, you've told me some sports that you that you've played. Uh, now, is there, are, like so when you're when you're having your own time and you're not playing, is there any sports that you tend to like to watch though? Besides maybe hockey. Um, honestly, like I have a big interest in like racing, like um, like not NASCAR, but like F1 racing. Is that like the uh, is that like the cars that they're more like they have they don't have so much a like a body to them like yeah. I don't know how to describe it they have like a certain shape it's not it doesn't look like regular cars no no it's like the wheels like come out wider than like the body and it's the body's a little bit triangulated and they're real low to the ground but yeah I like those ones yeah those are. Um... I don't know if I was racing, I think I would want to be more in like a regular car. Cause I, these, those just don't look as safe though. Oh yeah. They look light, <laughs> but I guess, yeah, they got to build them the way. So, you know, people don't, uh, people don't tend to, you know, get hurt, but yeah. Um, yeah, man. Um, that's, that's, uh, you know, that's kind of everything I have for you. Um, anything for me? <laughs> um, how how do you think next season's going to go? Uh well, um you know, it's hard to say. Uh you know, it's hard to say. I mean, I think with the uh Go JHL league, um you know, I've been watching, you know, I'm 25 and I've been watching the Maroons play for years. Uh you know, I watched them when I was a kid. I think that was those were the years where they won the championship like four or five years in a row. Um yeah, it's hard to say. I mean, like the last couple of years has been London winning. And then the one year, I think it was Leamington that won. Um, yeah, I, I think it's really, it's, 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 I think it's going to be really competitive for sure. Like even this year, as much as, you know, you see teams like St. Thomas stars, they're right at the end, or you, you see, um, uh, I'm trying to think of the team. Uh, I can't remember the last, second last place team. It, it might've been Sarnia. Yeah, maybe Sarnia. Like even like teams like that that were at the bottom, like they were still quite competitive as much as I could see. Um, 
I don't think there was really any team that was really blown away. Yeah. Um, you know, like, of course you have London that was right at the top that, you know, were always a tough team, but they were proven that people could beat them and they could figure out how, how they were playing. Um, mm-hmm. But I think that Chatham's always going to do well. Um, Chatham's always done well. And uh, <laughs> always, I think Chatham's always been able to maintain to be in the top four, top five teams. Yeah. So I can see Chatham being in the top three this season. So, yeah, that's good. But, uh, yeah, man, I just wanted to uh, thank you for taking the time to come on and, and uh, answer you. some questions. And and uh, we look forward to seeing you play again next season. <laughs> thank you. Are you going to keep that 22 or are you going to change your number? I'm going to keep it. <clears throat> Sorry. No worries. <clears throat> Oh. oh, my throat got real dry for a second. You all good? <laughs> I think so. I don't know. My throat started getting real dry. But, yeah, I'm planning on keeping 22. Okay. Just less, less work for uh, to get it unstitched and stitched back onto another jersey. Yeah. Yeah, unfortunately, right? So. Yeah. Well, anyway, like I said, um, it was nice having you on. Thank you for taking the time again. And uh, we'll look forward to seeing you soon. Yep, thank you. Thank you.